Okay, hello everyone. My name is Clark Towson and I'm the CEO of INTJ Billing. In this video, I'm going to take you through purchase of inbound liquidity from a provider called LN Big. So this is the LNBig.com website. I had some trouble purchasing liquidity from this provider in the past using Wallet of Satoshi. However, I've got it working correctly uh, now using uh, Phoenix Wallet. So I'm going to show you through that. Now I've created this, this spreadsheet. Uh, the version of Ride the Lightning that I've got, um, that I run, uh, my understanding is that each channel I'm able to, uh, to open, I can open a maximum of 16.7 million Satoshis per channel. What I've done, LN Big, I've actually gone through on on Lightning Network Plus on this website, and I've typed in LN Big, and you can see here these are all the LNB nodes. And I've gone through these nodes. You can see the numbers aren't ordered, not in order here. But I've put them into a spreadsheet, and I've ordered them. Okay, so LN Big has got nodes uh, one through forty-nine, but um, you can see. It goes one, two, three, and then five, six, seven, nine. So it's missing a couple of numbers in between, right? So uh, looking through this, you can see that uh, whilst the numbers go up to 49, there's not actually not 49 uh, nodes. Total number of nodes uh, for Allen Big is that's not counting the number of cells. Um, so if we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 2, 4, 25. See, so there's 25 nodes in total that Alan Big has got. Now, what I've done on my Ride the Lightning server, you can see that I've actually got a cup, I've already opened three. Uh, three uh, channels to the LN big nodes, LN D3801 and O2. And you can see the amount, the capacity that I've opened, 16.58 million Satoshis, 16.4 and 15 million Satoshis. So what we're going to do now is go to the LN big website. I'm just going to refresh this and just show you what happens. Did you notice how the node number changes? When I refresh it, so remember we've got node 27, 7, and 12. I refresh that again, we've got 37, 11, and 40. So what I want to make sure is that um, I've opened nodes, I've opened uh, channels to nodes 38, 1, and 2. I want to make sure that I don't try to open another channel um, to the same node because that's not going to work because I've already got a channel open to it. So let's just refresh it one more time. All right, and uh, LND 31, okay, uh, 42 and 38. So you can see that those numbers, um, oh, that's one of those is in there. So 43, 49, and 17. Okay, so those numbers aren't in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across, and you can see here there's a slider, and we can uh, slide to select the total volume in Satoshis. Now I'm keeping my volume down to around 16 and a half million, okay, because um, I have had trouble opening channels over 16.7 million uh, sats. Now I understand that there is a there is a setting. I can't find the setting. It's uh, I'm gonna have to keep looking for it probably on the command line where I can actually um, set the maximum uh, channel opening size for my nodes. I'm going to have a look for that a little bit later. But for the purpose of this video, let's open a 16,496,143 uh, sat channel to LN Big. You can see that's going to cost me $7.54 USD. You can see the terms here that uh, there's no guarantee that it will remain a long time. They'll keep, try to keep it open at least a month, and that inactive channels uh, that are inactive 30 days will be seen as useless 
and can lead to closure. So I'm just going to go to, so I've selected 16 and a half million. I agree. You can see here there's an invoice that I need to pay. So I'm just going across to my iPhone now and I'm going to use Phoenix Wallet because, uh, as I said, Wallet is Satoshi. Uh, for some reason, I'm unable to use it to, um, to purchase liquidity from LNV. I'm not sure the reasons why, but I know Phoenix Wallet is working for me. So let's just click on send. Let's scan the invoice. You can see there $10.98. Let's select pay. Let's give that a couple of seconds. And what you'll see happening here after a couple of seconds, this invoice will change, um, indicating that uh, the invoice has been has been paid once that payment goes through. And then I'll have uh, you know, have a um, have a chance to input my node uh, URL, and uh, that'll come uh, down below. There'll be a, a box that will open up down below so that I can enter my node info on this page. Just give this a couple of seconds. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for this to this to work. And you know, once once this is once this is changed, so that I can enter my node URL. The way we do it, we go across to Ride the Lightning, go under uh, Public Key, and you can see the node Public Key. I'm going to change that to Node URL number one, and we're going to copy that, and that's what we need to type in to uh, to Alan Big. So for some reason, that hasn't gone through yet. I'm not sure why. Let's just try that again. Hey. Yeah, so um, the node URL is very important. That's what we use. You can see here, here's the IP address of my node and the port number. Um, and Taking a little bit of time. And there we go. That took a bit of time for my wallet, not sure why. And so what we need to do, we copy the node URL. We paste it in here. We go to check it. You can see here, please check the node info. Um, here's the details, node ID, my node ID, my node alias, chili calendar, public channel, and uh, we want to open it. So we click on all right. Channel is opened. And here's the channel point. Click OK. And that's done. Now, when we go uh, across back to Ride the Lightning, and we have a look under peers and channels, we need to have a look under pending in, uh, under pending. And if we just refresh this, you'll see um, before we had six, now we've got seven. And you can see here um, LN big uh, LND 40 is pending open with 16.496 million Satoshis. Okay, so once that, uh, that's going to sit in the, uh, the pending, pending open for about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer. And uh, once it's open, okay, uh, under channels, we'll be able to type in LN big, and this is what we'll see. We'll see each of the servers, one, two, 38, and the number of new channel, which we're, we've opened, 40, will be under there as well, okay? So this is a really good way to get uh, inbound liquidity. And remember, what is inbound liquidity on the Lightning Network? So remember, it is the amount of Satoshis a given channel is able to receive from another Lightning node. Your node's inbound uh, capacity is the inbound liquidity of all your channels added together. And if you go to by the Lightning dashboard, you'll see Lightning 
19.74 million sats and he's our inbound liquidity total capacity it's almost 74 million satoshis and outbound capacity almost 20 million satoshis now once this goes through and uh, um, you can actually go across to sites like uh, lightning network plus you can have a look at, at your node on these sites you can see here um, when i did the liquidity purchase before uh, the amount of my capacity went up and that takes about 15 to 20 minutes as well maybe half an hour sometimes a little bit more but the total capacity will increase here and over on sites like uh, amboss.space you'll see uh, the total capacity will also increase okay um, that will increase uh, probably about uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, as well okay see the last update time there 25 minutes ago so that's how we go through and we purchase uh, inbound liquidity from LN big um, very good way to get a lot of inbound liquidity uh, quickly as I said I've had trouble scanning these invoices using wallet of Satoshi but Phoenix wallet uh, works fine so what I do I just uh, send some uh, some Satoshis to uh, via my ride lightning uh, server to my iPhone to my Phoenix wallet and then from there I scan the LN big invoices all right all the best everyone